Alex Popholm. I'm the 4-H agent here in Breckenridge County, part of UK's College of Ag, Food and Environment's Cooperative Extension Service. And today we're going to be exploring calligraphy. I'm going to cover some of the basics, but I'm still learning myself. I'm learning along with my 4-H members, but this is a great chance to try something new at home. And there is a 4-H calligraphy project that you can enter in our 4-H festival and qualify for state fair. So let's try out some of the basics first. All you're gonna need for this calligraphy project is a calligraphy pen, some type of calligraphy paper or card stock, and they also have uh, paper with grid lines that can help you practice, but we're gonna freestyle it today. So to start off with some basics, if you take a look at our calligraphy pen, this is a broad pen, and you can see that it has a nice broad flat edge. We're gonna take advantage of that edge as we're drawing letters and shapes today. Now in calligraphy, uh, today we're gonna to be using italic style and when we write with italic style, we want a nice thin upstroke and a thicker downstroke. So we're gonna practice some different shapes as you can see on the paper here, just to get comfortable with our pen. The idea is as you're writing in calligraphy, you don't wanna to have to be moving your pen all around. You wanna keep it at a, a nice angle and a comfortable position in your hand. All right, so we're gonna start off with just some vertical lines. So you can see that I'm holding that broad end a little bit at an angle and pulling down. And you want the letter or the line to be straight up and down. You don't want it at a curve right now. And you can see that I'm starting and ending on a little bit of an angle there. Now those are vertical lines. Now we're gonna practice some horizontal lines. So again, I'm holding my pen in the same position, a little bit at an angle, and I'm gonna create some horizontal lines. Like so. Now if you wanna combine both of these techniques, we could uh, draw a T or a cross. And you can see that I'm not adjusting my pen as I write. I'm keeping it a little bit at an angle and a nice comfortable position, like so. All right, the next shape is a zigzag and this is a great way to practice those thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes without moving your pen, or moving your hand, I mean. So I'm not readjusting my pen as I go and this is allowing me to make thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes. This is one of my favorite techniques. Once you feel comfortable with the zigzag, not all of our letters are straight 90 degree angles or turns. We also have a lot of curves in our alphabet. Uh, so we need to practice some curves as well. So in the same hand position, we still want some thin and some thick uh, pieces of the curve. So we're gonna have our thin upstroke curve and it will get thicker on the downstroke thin, thick, thin, thick, and so on. So practice your curves as well as your 90 degrees, and then you can get really fun with it, uh, making all sorts of things like hills, diamonds, and so forth. Now, after you feel comfortable with your 90 degree turns and your curves, then I want you to try the same techniques, but going vert vertically instead of horizontal. So we'll just make some thin and some thick vertical curves, like so. Now once you've practiced these basic techniques, you're gonna apply the thin and the thick strokes to the letters of the alphabet. As I said, I'm still learning and practicing along with my 4-H members, and I've been practicing italic style and writing my name. So we're gonna do that pretty quickly. So combine those thin upstrokes with the thick downstrokes to make some beautiful letters. So there's my A, my L, E, and my X. So this is an example of italic style, but there's lots of resources in our 4-H project book and online resources of different styles of calligraphy. This just happens to be one of the basics that a lot of beginning calligraphy students uh, use. Now, if you were to enter this in the 4-H festival for state fair qualification, uh, you would want to, instead of writing your name, you're gonna take an eight and a half by 11 piece of uh, cardstock or calligraphy paper and you're going to use your space wisely and actually write your favorite quote in calligraphy. 
Now make sure you put it in quotations and indicate the author at the bottom of the page. So you'll have to think about spacing and the size of your letters and decide what style calligraphy you're going to use. I encourage you to try this project at home. It requires very few supplies and it's a lot of fun and you can continue to learn, even at my age, uh, new techniques and new styles of calligraphy. So try it, post pictures of your calligraphy projects in the comments below and have a lot of fun with it. Enjoy!